You sent me an you email with those pictures? pictures? Some what? Oh, some captions? No, the, I'll pictures, do that. the pictures that you said, you're sending them in an email. Is that how you're going to send them? Yes, I sent them um, a little while ago. Oh, okay. I'll have to check. Okay. All right, All right here's another question for you. All um, right. How many rocks are in the whole wide world? <laughs> That's a crazy question. That's that's one of those things like when you ask how many stars are in the sky or how many leaves are on the trees. There's a lot. There are so many that I have never even had a chance to count them. There are many, many, many types of rocks. And um, a lot of it is that we find new rocks all the time where they've got different minerals or different components in them. So there's lots of different funny names for all those rocks too. Like um, you have names like granite and nice or uh, basite or, you know, just really funny names. And we come up with them all the time. So when you're out in your backyard, you might find all sorts of different kinds of rocks. But, yeah, there's a lot. I haven't actually counted. <laughs> there's lots of books about them, too. So, yeah, <laughs> great question. <laughs> Hard one to answer, though. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, we have another question. Um, where's our next question? Okay. Go <coughs> down. Um, how do rocks get their color? Is it really oh. loud? Did you get that? Yeah. Okay. How did rocks get their color? Is that your question? Uh huh. All right. So how many how many of you like rainbows? Do you guys know what rainbows are? Yeah. You've seen rainbows? Yeah, and you know how there's lots of different colors in those rainbows? Well, part of what makes a, a rainbow have lots of different colors is that the light reflects differently through the water droplets in the sky. And it's the same thing with a lot of different rocks. So rocks might have a different type of lattice or a shape that as the light passes through it, passes through it, it gives it a different color. Now another thing that gives rocks its color is what I was talking about earlier and that sometimes there's radio radiation in it and the rocks are next to something that give, that radiate irradiates them. Basically it changes their color. So it gives them a really nice purple or a yellow. But ultimately it's because of how the, the light passes through it. Just like how the light passes through raindrops to form a rain rainbow. So yeah, that's a great question. So that's why also why rocks come in all the colors of the rainbow. So you can find all sorts of cool different colors for rocks. Okay. Okay. We have another, we have another question. question. He wants to show you something, but he thinks he maybe should hide it for a surprise. Oh, great. I love surprises. Okay. This is a piece of ash. Oh, cool. Wow, that's neat. Where did you get that? A volcano. Oh, wow. That's very cool. And can you tell me a little bit about it? Is it heavy? No. Oh. Is it? How heavy would you say it is? Is it like heavy like um, like a car or is it more like um, cotton or something like that? It's, Can you... it's just about like plastic. Oh, interesting. It's... And so do you have a question about it? It has holes in it. Oh, wow. I think have he's you... eager to show it to you. Have you put it in water to see if it floats? Nope. Oh, that's a good uh -huh. idea. We'll have to try that. You guys should see if it floats. It might float. And and so are you, are, do you have a question about it? Are you wondering if, are you wondering if that's a rock because it's so light? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, see? Some rocks are very, very light, but it is a rock. That is a rock. It's a rock made out of ash. It's actually what we call a tephra. Um, and the big holes in it are because 
as the rock formed, it had a lot of gases trapped inside, and those gases escaped and left holes. And what's really cool about those rocks is sometimes you can put them in water and they'll actually float, which is really weird because you generally don't think of rocks as being able to float in the water. But I don't know if that rock is one that floats or not, so you should definitely try it when you have a chance. We will definitely do that, <laughs> probably right after we talk to you. Yeah.